I need to keep track of your heart rate and we do that with a pulse oximeter. And it could be your pulse oximeter. So here is related hemoglobin saturation and PaO2. So the problem, and this is a called a mini clinic on this. Problem, pulse oximeters are simple bedside devices that measures Hb or hemoglobin saturations by way of non-invasive probe taped to the patient's finger or a simple pulse oximeter put on your finger. Uh, does anybody remember which finger is best to use? It's actually the ring finger. If you get cut on your, uh, if, God forbid, but if you got a cut in your ring finger, uh, you, you could actually bleed out because there's an artery. It's The ring finger is the very vascular finger. It's a very, very vascular finger. That's why we call it a ring finger because it goes straight to the heart. Um, so what is this uh, basically saying related to uh, uh, hemoglobin saturation and PO2, the problem? So, so basically, when I put a pulse oximeter on, a lot of people don't know that the finger is the last line of sight. Okay, what I mean by that is if I'm measuring 80% on a pulse oximeter, just pretend, okay, I know 80% doesn't sound great, but if I am measuring 80% on a pulse oximeter and my SpO2 says 80% oxygen, a lot of people get scared, but they forget one major, crucial, important thing is you breathe in the oxygen, you breathe in air, right? You bring in the oxygen, okay? The first place it goes to, to be measured, is not your finger. The first place get oxygen pulled out of it is your heart. Because as soon as it goes into the lungs, it goes to the heart. The heart right then and there consumes oxygen at 20% oxygen. So meaning, what, what I mean by that is the oxygen that came into your blood at that point gets traveled to your heart, gets traveled to your heart, and your heart right then and there just brought in, you know, 21% of oxygen of what you just brought in. It just took it. It consumed 20%, okay? Then it goes to your brain. Your blood travels to your brain. Just look at the line of sight. Just look at a circulatory system. Then it goes to your brain. How much does your brain consume if it's relaxed? 30%. So oxygen comes in, it's being depleted by your heart, it's being depleted by your interaugmentary system, lymphatic system, nervous system, your brain, everything. When you measure on your finger, you're measuring what is left over. So what is left over is 80%. Why would you get scared? when there's still 80% of oxygen, because at the finger, there's nowhere else it's gonna be used. It just, as soon as it ends at the extremity, it circulates back through the veins and starts the process all over again. You're always measuring what's left over, never what you bring into the body. Did you know that? So if I saw 80%, I wouldn't be scared of uh, what's gonna happen. I wouldn't. Hi everyone, Melanie here. Check out the HRN store by using the QR code on this video, or you can click the link in the description below. You'll find everything you need for pulmonary rehab there. So take a look. At Home Rehab Network, we're dedicated to providing patients with access to cardiac and pulmonary rehab from the comfort of home. We treat just about every pulmonary disease out there. Our cardiac program is three times per week where we exercise patients, on a virtual platform together as a group, teaching patients about heart disease and how to prevent future heart problems. We make the program efficient, but also fun and enjoyable. With remote patient monitoring, we educate our patients first, we get them to breathe better second. Patients don't come in and just get bored with the lectures, they work out with us. So that's what makes us very different. I believe HRN's program is not just a program, it's an experience.